Yeah. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for being here, and those watching on TV, watching TV, we just had a little technical difficulty, we're a minute or two late. So, we're going to move on, first order of business is public hearings. We have a request from Stephanie Renner, we'll turn it over to you, sir. Okay, we'll go ahead and go on the record for Kim, who is uh, creating a transcript out there in Zoom land. Uh, this hearing is called to order at 7.02 p.m. Uh, it's being held this 10th day of October 2022 at the Herman City Hall. And it is uh, conducted to consider the application by Stephanie Renner for a conditional use permit to continue to operate a non-owner occupied guest house at 108 East 2nd Street in the R1 single family residential district. Ms. Renner has purchased the property from a party who had a conditional use permit for this purpose and she desires to continue that use pursuant to code section 420.100 D5. The application was reviewed by the Planning and Zoning Commission who recommended that the permit be granted. That recommendation to this board was done within 30 days prior to today. And at least 15 days notice of the time and place of the hearing was published in the Herman Advertiser Courier. After this hearing is concluded, the board shall provide its decision. If uh, the conditions for a conditional use permit are satisfied, it will make an order directing the zoning inspector to issue a written permit to the applicant. According to city ordinance, before issuing the permit, the board should consider the following to make sure that it would promote the public health, safety, morals, and comfort and general welfare of the citizens that it would not injure the use and enjoyment of the neighbor's property, that there are adequate utilities, roads, drainage, and other facilities to be provided, that establishing the use would not impede the normal and orderly development and improvement of surrounding properties, that the use will not cause traffic congestion, and that the requirements for public services such as police and fire protection will not be in excess of the demands of the adjacent land uses. Uh, the board may grant a conditional use permit for such a period of time as it believes is in the city's best interest. The applicants may present their case if there are any documents that she desires the board to rely on. She is submitted to submit those and if the applicant has any witnesses uh, they will be allowed to speak. If the applicant has an attorney, uh, the attorney will be allowed to represent her. Following the presentation, the board may ask questions. After the applicant has submitted her position, uh, the board will ask for testimony from others present in the room, either in favor or against the issuance of the permit. And at the conclusion of all testimony and comments, the board may deliberate and then vote on the issue. Whether the application is approved or denied will be carried by a vote of the majority of the board members. And we have some proposed exhibits that have been compiled by city staff. Exhibit one being a copy or the actual conditional use permit application. Exhibit two being the affidavit of publication from the newspaper. Exhibit three being a copy of the actual notice of public hearing in the newspaper. Exhibit four, a copy of a list of people who had been provided actual notice of these hearings people within 185 feet of 108 East 2nd Street. Exhibit 5, a copy of the minutes from the Planning and Zoning Commission confirming that a motion was made, seconded, and passed to recommend that this board approve the permit. Exhibit 6, uh, the entire code of ordinances of the City of Herman, Missouri. Exhibit 7 being uh, a piece of paper appearing to have been signed by Wendy Bush she says, I certify I am the property manager of record for 108 East 2nd Street. And then a document signed by our applicant uh, confirming that she had waived the 30-day requirement uh, from the time of application to the first public hearing. And then Exhibit 9, a letter addressed to the applicant uh, notifying her that we would consider the permit 
and uh, by signing the letter, uh, she agrees or states her intention that she would commence the conditional use upon completion of the renovation work that she currently has going on at the property. Uh, Mr. Mayor, would you agree to accept these exhibits into the record? Yes, sir. All right. And is there? Yes. Oh. If you would, please okay. go ahead and just uh, summarize what you're doing for the guys and sure. see if you have any questions. Yeah, so um, I purchased the property at 108 East 2nd Street with the intention of renting it out on Airbnb, but first we want to do um, quite a few renovations. Um, we want to kind of take the um, house back to its, its original charm. We um, want to replace the roof because it's damaged, um, tough point work on the outside, refinish the basement, um, replace all of the um, uh, kind of electrical and plumbing, make sure it's not leaking and that everything's functioning properly. Um, we're going to do a lot of wood refinishing um, where it's been painted, um, refinish the bathrooms. Um, I think that sums it up. Should take about um, 14 months from now. We plan to be done with construction in December of 2023 um, and then hopefully to launch on Airbnb in the first um, quarter of 2024. Very good. Any questions, gentlemen? Um, you have four off-street parking spaces? We have six. I actually, when I filled out the original application, I hadn't yet spoken to Bob. Um, he came by the property before the meeting on the 21st. Um, we had discussed pop excuse me, possible options for the parking for six bedrooms. There'll be six bedrooms in the rental. Um, four will fit in the driveway, and there's an additional two because we're going to convert the, car the carriage house. It's currently a bedroom. Um, and then a second storage space, we're going to convert that into a garage that will hold two cars. So that would give us the six. Are you, are you, excuse me, are you planning on a, is it going to be an unoccupied guest house? Yes, correct. Okay. That's where it was before. Okay. And are you okay with planning and zoning's recommendation that the permit be uh, have a term on it of two years? Usually, most often they're for one, but two years would give you time to finish your uh, renovations, hopefully, and then get a few months in where you're actually operating. So it comes up for renewal. The board can uh, determine whether uh, things are going well for a few months at least. Uh, while you've been operating? Yeah, correct. Yes. Very good. Any other questions? <clears throat> I entertain a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Motion to be made. Do I have a second? I'll second. Motion made and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Congratulations. You're good to go, girl. Thank you. application by Patrick Flatley, which is called for hearing this 10th day of October 2022 at 7 10 p.m. and it's to, uh, this hearing is conducted to consider Patrick Flatley's application for a conditional use permit uh, for a non-owner occupied uh, guest house at 211 East 4th Street in the R2 2 family residential district. The application was reviewed by planning and zoning and approved within 30 days prior to tonight. 15 days notice of the hearing was posted or published in the newspaper. Uh, the board should provide its decision within at least 15 days. According to ordinance, before, conditioning, or before issuing the conditional use permit, the board should ensure that the permit would provide for the public health, safety, morals, comfort, and welfare of the citizens that it does not injure the use and enjoyment of the property in the, in the immediate vicinity for purposes already permitted, that there are adequate utilities, roads, drainage, and other necessary facilities, that the establishment of the use will not impede the normal and orderly development and improvement of the surrounding properties, that the use will not cause traffic congestion, and that the requirements for public services such as police and fire protection will not be substantially in excess of the individual demands of adjacent properties. The board may grant the use of the conditional use permit for such a period of time as it believes is in the public interest. The applicant will have the opportunity to present their case if there are any documents that the applicant desires for the board to rely on. He is invited to submit those as exhibits. 
If the applicant has any witnesses whom he desires to speak, this will be allowed. And if the applicant is represented by an attorney uh, whom the applicant desires to speak on his behalf, this also will be allowed. Um, after the applicant has submitted his position, the board could ask for testimony from others present in the room. At the conclusion of all testimony, comments, and exhibits, uh, the board can deliberate and then vote. Whether the application is approved or denied is carried by a vote of the majority of the board members. And there are a few exhibits that were compiled for this hearing. Exhibit 1 is the conditional use permit application. Exhibit 2 is the affidavit of publication from the advertiser courier. Exhibit 3 is uh, the notice of public hearing that was published in the paper. Exhibit 4 is a copy of Planning and Zoning Commission meeting minutes confirming that motion was made, seconded, and passed to approve this conditional use permit um, pending the usual inspection and obtaining a signed manager contract. Exhibit 5 is a copy or a list of the persons and their addresses who received uh, actual notice of this hearing. This was sent to folks within 185 feet of 211 East 4th Street. Exhibit 6 is the entire municipal code of ordinances of the city of Herman, Missouri. And Exhibit 7 is a document called Vacation Rental Property Management Agreement, which appears to have been signed by Kelly Branson, dated 10-7-22. And Mr. Mayor, do you agree to accept these exhibits into the record? Yes, sir. Okay. Our applicant here. Well, yes, sir. Can I step up to the podium for this, sir? First of all, I like your uniform. Right? Thank you. <laughs> We're all firemen here. All right, great. Anyway, off the subject. Anybody have any questions? <laughs> well, you know, I have to recognize. I'm sorry. You. Uh, when are you planning on moving forward with this? I mean, right away or? Uh, likely not going to be able to. You know, pending approval, going to be able to get anyone in there this season. You know, it's. We've got. We you got renovations to do to it, also, or are you, are you ready, is the house pretty well ready for you? Oh no, it's it's uh, it's pretty well uh, ready to go as okay. far as renovations. Uh, Travis back here did a lot of the okay. renovations originally, and uh, he's going to continue to help manage the property, and we just got to you know decorate that kind of stuff, and we didn't want to get moving too far forward until we received approval. No problem. Any questions, guys? All right. No questions. Do I have a motion to approve? I'll so move. Motion to be made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? There you go. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And I have to get back to the firehouse. Do so, right. I said I have to get back to the firehouse while I'm on duty. Yeah, I have a store with fire stuff in it. Anyway, <laughs> that's all right. No. Thank okay. you, everyone. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Uh, we'll move on. Mayor's report. Uh, just wanted to uh, say that uh, Susan isn't here this evening because of a medical issue with her husband. Keep her, her family, and your thoughts and prayers, uh, if you would. The only other thing I got, we, we made it through the first weekend of Oktoberfest, and uh, as far as I understand, there was no major issues with lots of people in town, good for the economy. Just be aware, next weekend, weather sounds like it's going to be good. It'll be the same thing. It'll be very busy, especially on Saturdays. Just look out for pedestrians, and uh, that's about it. Ladies, you don't have to sit through the whole meeting if you don't want to. I just wanted to know. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> For entertainment, it's good. Okay. <laughs> do, do we have any public comments? Uh, no, I received Okay, I didn't have any up there. Just wanted to make sure. We'll move on to ordinances then. Oh, I'm city. skipping you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go to the city administrator. <clears throat> just a few things. She just raised her hand. Uh, 
So the airport project is underway. Uh, they actually started last Tuesday. So um, that is kind of a relief that everything um, is in order and actually got started is a huge step. They, the only thing that has changed is that um, the airport board um, agreed to do the project in a single phase, which is going to save the contractors about 30 days because they did have it broken down into three phases, which was going to try, they were going to try to accommodate the owners of the, um, the planes in, with the hangars so that they could still get access to their planes at different times, but it, it would have been much more arduous. So if they close down the whole thing, except for the runway, of course, um, they can be much more efficient. So um, the airport board agreed to do that. So if, um, Without any major hiccups or weather delays, they could be completed as soon as November 8th to 15th. So that um, that's great news. Um, they will be a meeting with um, myself and um, Jesse if he's available weekly with um, a construction update. It'll be the contractors, a MoDOT, um, the engineers that are on site every day with them and the city. And uh, Park Grant, that is continuing underway as well. I have um, several staff members helping me uh, gather and pull all that information together. Again, this is for the ball field lighting project. The old um, poles, many of them are rotten um, and potentially dangerous. So I'm wanting to get um, different poles and lighting. And uh, it's like $150,000 for the, the entire project. Um, and we are scrambling to get all that together so that we can get the free review next week, um, which gives you better chances of actually being awarded the grant. And MRPC is helping us with that as well. The I've been talking about off and on over the past several months about um, annexations, and um, Terry Hammers is actually coming to fruition, or at least coming to uh, the public hearing process. Um, PNZ will hold a public hearing on Wednesday the 19th on um, the annexation of that property, which um, is up there on Sand Plant Road. Um, and then it's going to come before this board on November 14th, and there will be an accompanying annexation agreement with all the details. So stay tuned for that. A um, couple announcements. MRPC is holding a, um, an electronics and appliance and a tire collection. Um, Saturday, November 12th in Bell. And so every year, MRPC, our eight counties, um, they move this collection site around to a different county. And this year it's in Bell. And um, the major difference between this and our own special big trash pickup that we do for our citizens is that they will take tires um, for a small fee. So um, if anybody's interested in those details, we have some flyers we're gonna put around town or they can call um, City Hall about that. Again, it's Saturday, November 12th in Bell. And a reminder about our leaf pickup schedule here in the city. That is going to start, um, it'll be Tuesdays and Thursdays um, starting next week through December 1st, with the exception of Thanksgiving. All these must be put in plastic bags and placed in front of the residents by the curb no later than 7 a.m. And please do not use tubs or boxes. We're putting an extra reminder on here, and we put it on Facebook as well. We've had, oh, a whole handful of issues with people um, blowing grass clippings out on the sidewalk or the street um, or in the, the curb and gutter, which will clog up the storm drains. So we're reminding people that um, to please not put grass, the grass clippings, leaves, or other yard waste in the street, sidewalk, or a gutter um, as it's prohibited by city code. So we appreciate that. And I think that's all I have. Okay, thank you so much. Sorry I missed you. <clears throat> okay, now we'll move to ordinances, please. All right. For second reading tonight, Bill Number 2022-48, an ordinance to amend Section 150.090 User Fees of the Municipal Code of the City of Perm. So again, this was just um, those couple changes. Um, the Rotunda rental going down to a flat one day uh, rental fee and adding a rental fee for the Cisco Tenant Park. Correct. Right. Any question? If not, do I have a motion? I'll move to approve bill number 2022 48, second rental. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? 
Second. Motion made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Bill's carried. For first reading, we have Bill 2022-49, an ordinance to approve an agreement with Hammer in Missouri for a relocation of utilities at the airport. So this is in conjunction with the airport project. Um, the transformer needed to be moved to another location. And um, because it's um, Ameren Electric, this agreement rather than being with MoDOT is directly with Ameren. And um, so if we could read it twice tonight because they're ready to move on it already. They've got all the asphalt over there torn up and um, right here in the next day or two, um, we need to proceed with that. And um, so, Ameren is providing the materials to install it and the city staff is um, providing the cable and conduit and the labor for the installation. Everybody understand? Do we have a motion? Move 2022-49, first read. Motion made, second. Second. Motion made and second, all in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. We'll read that second time. Bill number 2022-49 for second reading, an ordinance to approve an agreement with Ameren, Missouri for relocation of utilities at the airport. Motion to approve second reading. I move to approve bill number 2022-49, second read. Motion made, do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second on the favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. Next ordinance. For first reading, bill number 2022-50, an ordinance to revise schedule eight of title three traffic code regarding handicapped parking. And if you look at the ordinance there in section one, there are seven spots uh, described where it's proposed that we had uh, handicapped parking spots. So these are, um, these are existing spots except for one, one's a new one. Um, but they had been missed of adding them into the code prior, so this was kind of cleaning it up so they're actually in the code and are legit. This way the police can enforce them. Yes. Do I have a motion to approve? I make a motion to approve bill number 2022-50. Motion to make, do I have a second? Second. Motion made, second on the favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Move on to old business. Any old business? I have a question. I guess it'd be old business. When is Herman's large trash day? I've heard different discussions and different dates. And November 5th. November 5th. Isn't that the first Saturday? Yeah, it's always the first Saturday, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. First Saturday it's... in November. Yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you. Any other old business? If not any new business. Moving right along. We'll move on to motions. Do I have a motion to approve the last meeting's minutes? Do do approve. Motion been made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. Next, we need a motion to pay the bills. I will move we pay the bills. Motion has been made to pay the bills. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Next, we have uh, hire Sarah Powers for tourism service assistant position. This will be for the train station. Any questions? If not, I need a motion to approve her. Pammy is eager to get her. Motion to approve. Motion been made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carry. Motion to approve or deny a new plat for a lot subdivision at lot 69 Market Street owned by Mike and Stacy Graham. So, you all, so this is, I'm sorry. I gotta say, you all understand what this is about? So I mean, is where they put the guest house in or? Well, they want to subdivide it is what they want to do, correct? So yes, for the listening public, this is the old State Farm um, office right there on Market Street. Um, Mike and Stacy Grandman own it now, and they're wanting to subdivide it. Is Barry here? Yeah. <laughs> to sell a portion to Barry where the trailer sits now. Yes. And he's going to uh, remove the trailer and build a one suite guest house. Yes. <coughs> and he's gotten an official stamp survey here. 
Okay. Any questions for Barry? Or any questions for you? Not, do I have a motion? I'll move to approve. The motion's been made to approve. Do I have a second? I'll second. Motion's made and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Second here. Good to go. Approved a little bit for the icing salt from Roots Open. This is uh, for winter coming up. Motion to approve. Motion's been made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All in favor aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Point Dave Ferber, David Ferber to the Utility Advisory Board. I have a motion to approve Dave for that position. I'll move to approve. Motion made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carry. Special event application for the River City Cruisers Car Cruise and Show Street Closure requested 4th Street from Market to Schiller and Schiller to 2nd on September 9th. 2023. Planning ahead. I think the uh, their show this last year was a success. It just didn't have as many cars as they were anticipating, but it's the first time they've had it, so so they uh, they're just kind of like the blue over. They they raise money and give it back to the community. So I need a motion to approve. Need to approve. Motion been made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carry. Employee dental and life insurance renewal. Yes, and as I stated here in um, the memo, is our um, our dental and life insurance renewal for what we presently have to principal was going to be a five percent increase. Um, but our broker um, did a good job of um, going out there and looking for us, and he found two plans that would result in a nine percent savings. Um, and then, which was equ equitable and mutual. Um, and in between those two, um, equitable um, has some better benefits. Um, for um, it has a two-year rate lock, um, which is a, a good thing on the on the dental and the life. And they have a stronger benefit offering, giving a one thousand two hundred and fifty maximum annual benefit versus a thousand dollars that principal and mutual have. And they also have more local in-network dentists than, than the other companies. And they're both offering this um, EAP plan, which is an employee assistance program, which is now required. And we were paying additional for that. And now it's going to be wrapped up in, um, in, in the, this amount. So uh, there won't be any extra for that. And so I've been recommending um, Equitable. Okie dokie. I have a motion to approve the recommendation. Motion to approve the acceptance. Motion to made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. There's no reports. Do I have a motion to adjourn? I will move. Motion to made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. So there's a fire.